Hello, everyone. Welcome to the developer days um, at US. Um, we will go over the topic for this session about crosswork network automation by Cisco. And uh, we will go over the overview of the topics, what the crosswork automation suite portfolio contains about. And the real time message is about simplifying operational operations that begins with automation. I'm Sujay Murthy here. I'm a TME at the Service Border Network Automation team. Um, so let's get started. So what is Cisco's automation vision? Automation processes are better to bring together with visibility, insights, and action. That is, what do customers expect out of an automation suite is they want to make some changes in their network and see what those changes have impact to the network or what traffic or configuration or network changes are happening on the network. And finally, looking at the insights that is collecting the data, identifying trends and patterns so they can anticipate any network issues that may arise. This is really the key of the message, right? We want to have automation in place. We want to simplify operations, but it's never about being the fast or the small or the big or the large. It's about what the fish size is. It's not like the big fish eats the small fish. It's about the fast fish, which eats the slow fish. So we really want to be fast, but we want to be cautious about being uh, an operationalized and being into this automation network. So Cisco's crosswork automation portfolio consists really from your network planning to network design, implementation, and finally moving into the pillars of what the automation journey is about, insights, visibility, and action. So starting from the top, we have the network designing tool that is the van automation engine moving on towards your epnm which is the ems device lifecycle management and then building down onto the transport suite of automation for sdn controllers which is the cisco's crosswork hierarchical controller based out of sedona net fusion to really showcase the end-to-end -end converged SDN transport from IP to optical controllers. Cisco's Crosswork Hierarchical Controller is a multi-layer, multi-domain controller that talks to Cisco's Crosswork Network Controller for IP SDN and the ONC for optical network controller. But within all these components, NSO is a key part of the solution that integrates and connects to multi-vendor devices and networks. And on finally, on the action insights and visibility, there is a Cisco Crosswork Cloud, which does um, integrity of the infrastructure, analyze the traffic patterns, and optimize network traffic through the peering points. So what is Crosswork Network Controller? There are challenges that have been identified across IPSD and transports on the cumbersome of network provisioning, meeting your bandwidth requirements, maintaining the SLA, and all those zillion tools around there that have fragmented visibility across networks, but not an holistic view of the solution. Cisco's Crosswork Network Controller is really an outcome-driven solution to the market that does from intent-based automated provisioning to dynamic traffic engineering for path visualization, path computation, optimization of traffic, and building into the closed loop automation solution that is what are your mitigated paths, what are the traffic changes, or what config changes that need to be done to avoid those network outages. And finally, integration with your service lifecycle management. So architecturally, crosswork network automation talks through various different components to build the solution together. And that is why it's a whole suite of portfolio that integrates from your awareness, 
to automation for action uh, through in insights and visibility using your Crosswork Cloud Network Insights or your SRPCE for optimization engine. But it's really the network that any network changes that happen on this on the infrastructure is is visualized, is seen, and, and addressed um, quickly through the Crosswork Network Automation Suite of tools. In this case, if you see NSO is a key integral part of the component to provision services, to get the data or the X path of service auto, of services, and then use that across the network for automation and assurance. The Crosswork Network Controller feature consists from intent-based automated provisioning to dynamic traffic engineering and closed loop automation and integrated lifecycle service. That is service provisioning for your VPNs and a transport engineering for SRMPLS, SRV6, RSVPT, to dynamic traffic engineering doing on controlling the paths through bandwidth aware control, flexible algorithm, and local congestion mitigation. The final aspect through the integrated service lifecycle management is doing visualization and optimization of services through service health monitoring. Although we are doing the introduction for the Crosswork Automation portfolio, but it is still amazing to see that the various features that have been added so far, and we have the CNC 4.1 that is released for October and the various functionality and features out there are supporting from NSO's LSA capabilities to brownfield service support for CNC, uh, multi-point VPN service provisioning, SRV60 provisioning, enhancements on SRV60, and the other CNC automation suites for the service health monitoring, local congestion mitigation enhancements. And first time it's the introduction of the multicast v uh, tree set uh, visualization for services, and the provisioning will be coming up in the later release. So as we've seen through the portfolio, we've always emphasized on these three aspects, like what do customers want and what the Crosswork Automation Portfolio Suite actually helps users. That is action, insights, and visibility. So. Assurance is basically an enabled with visibility insights and closed loop action. That is to say, what the customer wants to see is actually his health of the service, his health of endpoint connections and the underlying network infrastructure. So Cisco's automation, crosswork automation portfolio has taken a different approach. That is, what is the end-to-end -end service visibility and how does an operator would like to see? or that is the service centric operations. Bringing those SLAs into the service, that is experience the network, enable the health of the service and dynamically tie that to the intent to telemetry. Expedite your MTTIs and MTTKs so that you can knowledge, you can capture the knowledge and automate troubleshooting so that well-known issues or most often found issues can be uh, detected early and mitigated faster. Health Insights. Health Insights is a key component of where we saw that your services can be monitored and services can be assured through automated assurance. There is also a need for device level monitoring and device level assurance. Health Insights helps to build those list of KPIs, build those alerting engine through forwarding and create those remediation playbooks through Ansible scripts for provisioning through your crosswork network solution on the infrastructure. This is an example of the dashboard of how the smart monitoring and alerts looks like for a KPI remediation when an action is triggered and what usage or analysis from the network or the devices is available for a user from the crosswork automation suite. So let's now jump into the demo. All right, so let's look at uh, the demo for the Crosswork Network Controller. Now, what we are showcasing here is the CNC 4.1 release view of 
uh, the dashboard, the SDN features and functionality. So right get started. This is the homepage dashboard that you're seeing. And the first one is about really about traffic engineering. Uh, it is because of the newer traffic engineering type features that were added. Um, so the newer feature that was added is the tree set multicast visualization. So we are looking at SRMPLS tunnels, SRV6, tree set, RSVPT. And below that is the VPN services view, like the services that are provisioned, uh, success, failed, in progress, and moving into the device status, the list of devices added um, operationally up, and uh, if there are any devices that are degraded, and finally into the VPN service health, which is the assurance and monitoring of services. The KPI alerts and playbook job sets are basically from the health insights that shows about what are the KPIs running for the devices and any playbooks that have initiated, failed, terminated, or were successful. So let's drill down into each of the screens. So the topology view is basically showing the link view of uh, the network, the nodes, which is discovered through uh, PCE added to NSO uh, with the respective device type nets and the device collection data that comes from the PCE about the links and if there are any alarms uh, on the network. The view drills down into two, that is VPN services and traffic engineering. So for the VPN services view, we actually look at the various VPN services that are provisioned, like for layer two VPN, point to point, point to multipoint, layer three VPN service. So this actually gives a view on each of the service types. So we go into details and we start with the rightmost one, which is the configuration, which is the network level configuration info for the service based on ITF NM standards. And if there are any transport associated to the service, and finally, the health status, which is coming from the automated assurance. So let me pick a layer three VPN service that shows the various nodes into the VPN services. And we go down into the details to see first, what is the configuration? That is the layer three network model configuration view of the service, uh, the network nodes, VPN network access information, all the service data that a network designer uses to automate this build a service intent. And finally, the association of transport to the network. So this is really a network uh, VPN with the transport engineering view of the service. And we can drill down into the network to see what is the path that this layer three VPN service takes based on the ODN tunnels that is applied to the network. I can look at the metrics. So if I want to see what are the metrics that is assigned and why did it collect this path uh, towards node five and node four, simultaneously I could do uh, dual paths to see, okay, if my both uh, unidirection and bidirection traffic are following the same path. But if I want to drill down deeper into the network, I can drill down, view details, and go down into the candidate paths look at the various parts on the network and look at the flex algo, the labels that is associated as part of every hop in the network and the IP address and the interface connected. There is historical data for any events change that is also captured, any traffic rate that is running, but we don't have any information here. But the next one is looking at the health of the service. So the health is coming from the automated assurance that is enabled using heuristics package. And this tells me the failures for each type of services. What I have already known the health of the state is degraded, but I can check on the health status and look at the symptoms and the metrics for each of the service. So in this case, if I were to pick on only the failed elements, look at the expressions, the symptom metrics, and look at the metric state that it is supposed to show up. We can also go down to the assurance graph that will give me a detailed view of all the subservices that this assurance is enabled for. Now, since I'm looking at uh, the dependencies, I can drill down and look at only the down and degraded state of the service and not selecting that, I can look at what are all the other subservices uh, that are running good in this network. 
historical data, if any present, will tell me uh, what are the state changes and, and what are the uh, operational issues, if there were anything that was identified. So real, typically, you can drill down to performance alerts to create your alerts dashboard for KPIs um, on the network, and um, any impacted list will show up here as any major or critical alarms. So this is basically the overview of what we see as a dashboard um, and on Crosswork Network Controller for various services from service provisioning, traffic engineering visualization, KPI alerts for health insights, and service assurance and monitoring. Going back to the state of the service, the demo. So we looked at what the Crosswork Network Controller looks like. And I'm sure there are many more learnings and sessions that are being planned as part of the event. So feel free to join these sessions to know more about class crosswork, like what we've seen as an overview. We will cover more of them in detail in these sessions. So looking forward to seeing you all in those upcoming sessions. Thank you very much for watching.